Welcome to the very first episode of Java on Azure Quick Start series. I want to talk about launching your first single application towards Azure Spring Apps. This episode is all going to be about the portal and the drag and drop experience. But don't worry, you could do the same thing using Maven or Azure Clay or your infrastructure as code tool of your choice. So let's use Azure Spring Apps because that's the easiest way possible to just keep my Spring App up and running in the cloud. So it's my hero destination for my Spring App. So why not give it a try, huh? So here in the portal, I will just search for Azure Spring Apps. Obviously, it's a bit um, customized, so I can see Azure Spring Apps immediately. But if you don't, don't worry. Just, just click above on the search bar and search for Azure Spring Apps. Great. Now you can make sure that you're on the correct subscription and then hit on create Azure Spring Apps. I always create a new resource group that makes it very handy to also delete afterwards to stay clean. It's not just good for the environment, but also for my pricing and payments. So I created a new resource group. Now I need to specify in the service details a name for my Spring Apps cluster. Afterwards, I will select the region. I just took West Europe because I'm based in Germany, as you can hear by my accent, and that's very close. For service plans, we have four Four options the standard consumption and dedicated plan basic standard and enterprise per default we have selected the standard consumption and dedicated plan because this one allows us to scale to zero as well so at no base cost we can only pay for what we need and what we consume so as a developer that's my choice if I then want to go more into production and enterprise grade plans I can then select the basic standard or enterprise tier what I also will do is creating a container app environment that allows me to use all the good parts from Azure container apps. So the network securities and so on and so forth, plus all the good things Spring Apps comes with, such as Spring Apps services. So I will also go here with the consumption and dedicated workload profile, and I don't need zone redundancies here for my dev project. Great. So let's create that. I obviously want monitoring, so I totally enable application insights as well. And now I want to get my Spring Apps cluster being created for me. Under the hood, it spins up an Azure Container Apps cluster with Spring Apps services. So let's now go to into the application we want to deploy. Here I'm using the GS Spring Boot example app. You can find that on GitHub here. Now I can use Maven even with the lifecycle built in into my IDE, or I just go with the terminal and run an easy Maven clean install command. That will give me the jar file that I can then easily drag and drop into my Azure Spring Apps cluster. So in the portal, our Azure Spring Apps cluster got created. So now I want to go deeper with my code. So here is my example app. I cloned it from this repository here. You can just find it with this aka.ms link or you just use your application of choice. In order to get the jar file, I can even use the Maven build in here. So package it here or I use uh, just the command line if I want to. So I would just do a quick Maven install which would then give me the needed jar file. While my jar file is getting created, I can already jump over to the portal and open up my deployment. So here's the Azure Spring Apps cluster we've just created previously. And now I can go on apps and see here, create app. Great, I could also just use the sample quick set app, but what I want to use is my jar file. So I can just drag and drop it here or I browse for the files. There we go, here is my jar file. I open that up. The rest of it can just leave the defaults, but yeah, you could also specify some JVM options to get better performance out of it. And please make sure to also select the correct Java version. I'm using 17 here, so I go for it. I also give it a name and hit create. So my app is now getting deployed. Everything is happening behind the scenes for me. It's actually using Azure Container Apps for me. And then the only thing I need to do now to access it um, from the outside of my cluster is inside an endpoint. And as this one is an outside facing app, of course, I want to have the um, endpoint assigned. So the endpoint was successfully assigned. So now I can just click on it. 
And there we go! Greetings from Springwood! So we successfully launched our first application towards Azure Spring App within the portal. So we did the full drag and drop experience. Thanks for watching. Um, tell me how it went for you. So did you also use the portal to create your Azure Spring Apps cluster? And what was the first app you created? Please show me your screenshots, what was running for you. And stay tuned for the next episode where we're gonna go a bit deeper. Happy coding! Talk to you soon!